You're here because finding great research is critical to your studies, projects, and work. I'm here to lay out a step-by-step -step guide for conducting great research. I'm Jack from Proofed. This video will outline five clear steps for utilizing research resources. Plan your search, search engine mastery, focus your search, evaluate the results, and finally, track your citations. I've put together this video of 10 free research resources that you can use right away. Let's dive in and get to work. Step one, plan your search. Every great plan needs a map. So in this step, we're going to start by constructing a mind map. Take your key search term in the middle and think of every possible way to express your search term, every synonym, every alternative word that a database may use to catalog a piece of information relevant to your search. The databases you're going to use have to organize all of the information they store. So we can't assume that any one word will give us access to all of the relevant information. And the last thing we want in our research is to miss out on important information that could help our work. Step two, search engine mastery. The databases we'll be using in our research won't bring back the best results if we search in full sentences. For example, if you were to search the effect of advertising in mass media on teenage consumers as a sentence, the database is very unlikely to bring back the exact results you're really looking for. We can use and to combine keywords. However, using and on its own is not enough. So you can also use or to separate multiple keywords. On top of those two tactics, you can use quotation marks to isolate a particular term in your search. Another great tactic is using the minus symbol to exclude certain results. We need to use all of these tactics in combination. Step three, focus your search. In order to focus your search, it's important to identify the most relevant database for your search. Some databases are generalists and some are specialists. Secondly, set up search parameters in the database that are as narrow as possible. Also, on each database, find out the best methods for refining your search using their search engine. For example, DOAJ allows you to narrow your search by subject, language, license, publisher, publisher country, peer review types, and date added. All of these will allow you to exclude certain pieces of information that are not relevant to you. A key tip, if your university or institution has a subject specialist in residence, ask them if there are specific search terms or keywords that they would recommend using in a particular field of study. At the bottom of each result in your results list will be highlighted words, which shows you the keywords that the search engine identified. You can then use these to understand how the database catalogs its information and use those keywords to continue your search further. Try your search term in multiple databases and don't be satisfied with just one set of results. Step four, evaluate your results. One way to evaluate sources is to pay attention to the names that appear most often in your search results. Every subject field has experts, the people who've published the most academic work, been cited most often. They're usually interviewed the most often and therefore appear across searches in a certain field. Use these names to identify the key players in a subject and then search these author names to find other work by them in this field. Most databases have a feature that allows you to see how often a paper has been cited. In academia, how often a paper has been cited is a pretty good measure of how good the quality of the result is. Step five, track your citations. Think of this as creating a reference list for your reference list. Whilst researching, you don't want to be creating your final reference list for the piece of work you'll submit, but you also don't want to leave yourself without any record of all the different places you've taken information from. So, whilst conducting your research, keep a note. That way you'll have a running list of the different places you've cited information from. Remember when producing your final reference list, always consult your university or institution's referencing guide. 
Before we finish, let's double check that we've covered everything with a quick recap. Have you planned your search, mastered the search engines, focused your search, evaluated the search results, and finally tracked your citations and acknowledged your sources? Now you have five clear steps for utilizing resources in your research. We post these videos every week focused on different fundamentals of writing, communication, and content creation, with the aim of helping you to unlock your best work. Your writing proof.